Okay, stop scrolling because you're about to meet the most powerful content hack of the entire year. Imagine being able to create the ultimate go-to resource on any topic without drowning in hours upon hours of research. It kind of sounds a little bit crazy, right? Well, but that's because you haven't met Google Deep Research yet. This is your unfair advantage, and I do say it is an unfair advantage for creating what we call pillar pages. Now, these pages don't just rank, they dominate in your niche. So are you ready to change the game, ready to kickstart 2025 in the best way? Well, then let's go. So what I want you to do is I want you to picture that your website just doesn't sit there on the Internet, kind of hoping that a few people come. It actually dominates the niche that you're in. You're going to be creating what I would call a go-to destination. You know, and that's really the whole idea behind creating your content, behind creating your websites. With pillar pages, they aren't just pieces of content. They're what I would call an architectural foundation of a website that ranks and dominates in a niche. So let me give you a quick example of this. So what you'd be creating would be like a master guide on how to use AI agents for affiliate marketing. And then what you would have is you would have subtopics related to that. So these subtopics could be like top tools for AI agents or top agentic AI tools. It's like almost creating a roadmap all the way back to your content where you and your content becomes the trusted guide actually for that. Oh, and if you do like this, my name's Kieran Doyle. This is what I do. I'm an online marketer. I create content on YouTube. I create courses, etc., etc. Just give the video a like. If you're new here, subscribe, leave a comment, and look, hope you enjoy it. So let's have a look at how this works, okay? So first off for this, you're going to need the premium version of Google Gemini. Now I'm gonna show you how to get a free trial and I'm gonna show you actually how to cancel it as well. So just follow along quickly at this point if you don't have it. If you do have one already, then you can skip this part. Just come to Google, go to Google One, okay? Now, Google One basically is the, the updated version of Google that you can use. Now, when you come to this page, just click on AI Premium. OK, and then you're going to come down, sign up for Google One. Now, when we go into Google One here, it's going to give you options for monthly and annually. OK, and then it's going to give you three plans. This is the plan here, the AI premium that you need. This is the one that gives you Google Deep Research and Google Gemini. OK, so you can choose this. And as you can see, you get one month free trial. Now, you can cancel within this time, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you go through the process, you start your free trial, okay? So next off, I'm going to show you when it comes to the end of your trial, how to cancel that before they actually charge you. So what you do to cancel is you come over to one.google.com and you sign into your account. And then you're going to come up to this button right here, which is settings, and you're just going to click cancel membership okay and that's as simple as it is but you do this get all of your research done on these pillar pages first before the month is out so you've got a year's worth of content on pillar pages okay and on the subtopics for them so with that said let's actually get in to start creating these so this is what Google Gemini Deep Research actually looks like inside. As you can see, I've already run a bit of research here first. So it goes through lots and lots of different research and it's found lots of different things related to a topic that I'm actually writing a pillar post about. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to actually utilize this now. But as you can see, it's huge amount of research in here broken down so that you can use this in your own pillar pages. And at the bottom here, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a lot of websites that it's actually gone and researched these websites for that information for. Think of Google Gemini Deep Research almost like your own personal research assistant, somebody that you're hiring to go and spend hours 
to go and find this information for you. But instead of them spending hours, Google does this in minutes, like actual minutes. It does all of this research for you. So let's go and get started. Once you've signed up for Google Gemini, you're going to come over to here and you'll be in Gemini Advanced most likely, or you'll be in 1.5 Pro or something like that. You're going to come over to here and you're just going to type in or you're going to come to here and you're going to type Google Pro with deep research. OK, now this is where we got to prompt it in the correct way. Now, before we prompt it, we got to think about the type of research that we wanted to actually create. So a pillar page in itself is almost like it's like the, the broad topic that you're trying to cover within one of the main areas of your website. So for me, it would be about using how to use AI agents for affiliate marketing. OK, so that is the broad topic that I would create lots of other pieces of content on their need. OK, so then I would kind of like to use tools for AI agents Then I'd be kind of like, as I said, predictive analysis for AI agents. So we've got to think about those big topics. All right. So they're the ones that we want to get Google to research for us. Then we got to prompt it with the proper prompt. OK, so we're going to just type in something like this. OK, so research how agentic ai impacts affiliate marketing strategies so we're just going to ask it to research it okay so research how did it do what your main topic is going to be about and then we're just going to click go and what you're going to notice now is it's going to come back very quickly with a little bit of information about what it's going to do OK, so we can click on more. It's going to tell us. OK, so agentic AI and affiliate marketing research, how agentic AI impacts affiliate marketing strategies by one, two, three, four, five and six. Then it's going to analyze results. It's going to create a report and it's going to be ready in a few minutes. But we can also edit that plan. OK, so we can go through and we can say, OK, so look, it says edit the research. This is the current plan. What changes do you want to make? OK, so if we wanted to make any changes, we could do it in here. We say, look, at it. it's OK. Actually, actually, this is OK. Let's go. All right. And so what it's basically going to do is it's going to start the research process. Now, this is going to take a couple of minutes to do, but already you can see it. It's starting to come and it's starting to research the top websites. Now, just think about it. For you to do this yourself or for you to hire somebody to do it, this is going to take hours and hours and hours to do. So we're going to give it a few minutes and then we're going to come back and see what it's actually created for us. So here's what it's come up with. This took about five minutes. OK, but what it did do was it researched 36 websites the top websites on the topic that I had actually asked it to research. And what it's done is, as you can see here, it's made a huge, big document about all of the latest research with examples of AI and marketing, personalization, advertising, all those kind of different things. The part that I love about this here is this. Up here in the corner, you can see open in Google Docs. Now, what it's going to do here, down here, you can see in the left-hand corner, it's saying new document. OK, so new document created. Now we're going to open it in Google Docs itself. Now, that basically means that you get to keep that research. That is your research. Now, that is an awesome piece of research. Now, a lot of people might tell you, hey, look, at that's OK. Just leave it at that and change a few bits and then publish that. You don't want to do that. OK, you want to turn this into a proper pillar article. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go through it and you want to actually want to read it. And then you're going to want to extract certain points from there. OK, you're going to want to I don't mean like extract, like just take them out of it and kind of don't use the rest of the research. I want you to go through it. And if there are any stats that really jump out at you, you know, then basically what you're going to do, let's say that was a stat right there. You're going to highlight that stat and then that's going to become something for you that maybe you highlight in your article when it's created. But we want to take this a step further, OK? We want to utilize Google Deep Research to actually ask it, how are we going to create this type of pillar page for us, OK, with this research? 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to Google Gemini and we're just going to put in a simple prompt like this, okay? I would like to create a pillar page for this research. Can you outline the perfect pillar page structure that takes on board all the relevant information that is needed to rank online in Google? And again, Google is going to go off. So here we go. Here's what we have. To effectively structure a pillar page about Agentic AI's impact on affiliate marketing and ensure it ranks well on Google, consider this outline. Choose a clear, concise, and keyword-rich title. Then it goes and gives us them. Then our introduction. Okay, start with a brief hook, the reader's attention, etc. Then what is Agentic AI? What is affiliate marketing? Then it goes into case studies and examples, show real-world case studies. Then we bring this, it goes into the future of agentic AI and affiliate marketing, and we bring all this information together, okay? We bring it together into our pillar page. So we go and we put this information that we've got from here, and we also use the structure. So basically use this structure and this research to create the perfect pillar page for our website. OK, and that's where we go through and we're actually creating content that Google is telling us that it absolutely loves. Now, here's what I am going to say about artificial intelligence, Google Deep Research, Claude, uh, ChatGPT, all of these. They can be lazy. OK, so. Don't expect it to spit out something that is ready for you to just copy, paste, and, and ship up onto your website. That's not how it works. So Gemini's just given you the output. You can go through step at a time and say, okay, so here's the title. Okay, how about we go through the introduction? How about we ask Google Gemini or ChatGPT based on this research to write this introduction utilizing these points here? That's where we make pillar content that absolutely rocks. And then you're going to put it up onto your blog or whatever it is. So, guys, that's how you create awesome pillar content utilizing Google Gemini for free. A free trial, by the way. Remember to cancel the membership if you don't want to use it. But I think you'll love it that much that you will continue it on. My name's been Kieran Doyle. Really, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a like, a subscribe if you're new here. Leave a comment. Let me know and let me know how you're going to use it. Speak to you in the next video.